Yeah. So if it fell down, it's my problem. Now, if it fell down, it's your problem. If yeah, if 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 it was secured properly, but still fell due to, um, yeah. So it felt the prob the product fell down. We restacked it. We redelivered it, and I guess we had the truck waiting in the wrong door for too many hours, and while it was waiting in the wrong door, um. The temperature fell out of range and they didn't accept it anymore. Okay. But you don't have human air temperature. You only have mechanical breakdown. Well, it's neither that. It's the dock. The human error was that the human parked the truck in the wrong slot and took the shipper hours to get to the truck while it waited. Okay. Was the door open? Apparently, yeah. All right. So under the Food Safety Act, have you ever heard, heard of the Food Safety Modernization Act? Yeah, we talked about it at the your little thing above three years Perfect. ago. Here's what it says. Number one, a trucking company is not responsible for temperature under the Food Safety Act. Um, unless that responsibility that caused it. So I'm going to read your data cue. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab the inspection first. Can you see my screen, everyone? Yeah, I see it. All right. And I don't want to not go through this one in case we can do something about it. I don't want to wait, right? All right. So this one is false records of duty status. A citation in Iowa. I see the ticket. The driver paid the ticket. Driver drove from Virginia Gardens, Florida to Fort Pierce, North Florida and did not log any time. 128 miles between 11, 15 and 16. I asked the driver about it and he lied and said the company brought him the truck even though he lives and was already in Virginia Gardens. Driver did not want to answer my questions truthfully and eventually finally told me that he drove the truck and that they did not bring it to him. Driver also used PC on 1116 and drove another 75 miles and logged in his personal conveyance. Driver was at 14 hours when he came into the scale. Driver, due to being at his 14 hour limit, in addition to the hours of service, must stay at the scale for 10 hours, okay? So now, fortunately, we only got written up for the false log, right? He didn't say that this false turned into an over hours. Does that make sense? Maybe it didn't. I don't know. It says here the 14 when he came in the scale, but he went over the 14 during the scale, but that's not a violation. So we just have one to fight. This one. The driver apparently lied to him. The driver said that we brought him a truck and now ended up admitting that he had the truck there. That's what I'm getting, right?